Hello everybody, Grip by Guru here. Earlier I posted a video on the Martingale bot and what it actually does. I told you that I was going to end up posting an update on me actually taking a trade on one and kind of give you an idea of how um, to set them up. All right, so the first thing you're going to end up doing is you're going to go to trade and you're well you're going to pick your pair actually so currently right now i have i have an ada going i have an ada but it has not done anything yet so i'm going to look at the my uh comp uh 2l martingale bot and um what i'll do is i'll show you some some information there but when you're creating a bot you're going to go to the martingale um tab so you're going to go and you're going to click create it's going to bring you to this screen now there are a couple of different things that i have found um, that kind of adjust and kind of tell you and um it it, it kind of they're the 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 the, the fine minor details that you can end up actually adjusting so the first one is the risk risk preference um, you can either do balanced or you can do conservative um, i'm not sure why oh i do now understand why okay so if you do conservative so if you do conservative you will have a larger safety net okay um, and I'm gonna get into that a little bit later however you can see that if you do conservative you have a price scale of 5% and a take profit ratio of 1% one, 1%. 1%. but if you do balanced it's going to give you a price scale of 1% and a take profit of 1% and I'll get into more on those specifics later but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to what's called manual settings. In manual settings, you have a couple of different options. The first one is you have your price scale. You can flip that from a percentage to a fixed number. Okay, and I'm going to go into that later on. You can also do a take profit ratio. So you can do either 0.5%, you can do 1%, you can do 2%, um, 15%, 20%, whatever percentage you feel comfortable with. If you go down to the advanced settings, you can click the unfold. And the only thing it really gives you is how many safety orders you can have. Your standard right now that comes with the bot is five but you can switch it up to say six all right now with all of that let's go ahead and let's go back and let's look at the details on my comp bot so you can see that I am on let me go to the param not the parameters the trades all right so on this what you are going to have is you're going to have this thing called rounds and depending on how many rounds you have is how often you are selling so every time you sell and you make that profit that is considered a round now the thing is you have this other um tab it's called placed and that is going to tell you and show you what orders are placed and where they are at. So you can see right now that my the current value is very, very close to the sell value. And when it sells, it is going to sell everything and start the bot over. So that round would become number 12. You can go to um, trade. And you can see all of the different rounds that have been placed so far. So I'm on round 11 currently. 
and I am looking at, I'm very close to ending up uh, going through that round again. So if we're going and we're going to want to create a bot, a couple different things you're going to want to do. You're gonna to wanna to figure out where um, your safety nets are going to be. And if you haven't already watched um, my previous video on how a Martingale bot works, then that's what you need to start with, okay? And what ends up happening is it basically doubles your investment each time as you go down. So if you buy one coin to begin with, it'll buy two coins on your next stop or your next buy. The next buy, if it keeps dropping, it will dry, it'll buy four coins and then eight coins and it'll keep going like that. So along with that, there are a couple different things that you can be mindful of is the ratio. So you can set it to where it drops by um, the fixed number or a percentage. So you can put it to where um, if Bitcoin drops 3%, you want it to buy. Or you can say if Bitcoin drops by um, like uh, 1,000 points or $1,000, you can end up buying it. So there's some different, uh, different ideas and different thoughts behind it all. Um, again, I have, that was one. I'm going to show you what my, so this is my ADA currently, and you can see that I have some holdings in it. However, you can see how with this picture, you start off the next buy is 1.4751, and then it doubles that, 2.9855, and then doubles that. 6.0433 doubles that 12 and then doubles that 24. Um, but like I said, my ADA is not doing a whole lot. Um, it has it has bought twice um, according to that trade. So and I really wish they would have a stop scaling price, but that is you are not able to modify that currently. So Hopefully that comes in the, the future. Um, a couple things I do, I have passed on. I think it would be really, really cool to have a, um, a trigger price. I think it would have an awesome, it would be an awesome idea to include more, um, more ideas or more, safety buys so say i could have 10 safety buys instead of just six uh, or 20 as a maximum um, it would take more money to end up doing that however i think it would be really cool to do and i also think that it would be really really beneficial to have a um a take profit so like if the bot hits this price then you're you're done you're out like maybe you only go, want it to go for one round and you just let it go so those are some of the ideas I have passed on to the developers uh, I think those would be very beneficial if you are not part of Pinex click the links below um, you can you can join us you can sign up with us um, I hope this helps you out hopes this Hope this helps you understand a little bit of what is going on with these bots. Again, I'm on Telegram, I'm on Discord, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. If you have questions, e like DM me on any of those. Um, I look forward to also doing another video in the future uh, about ATR and bringing it in to use Martingale. Um, I think that will be very beneficial as well. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but I think, I think it's there. All right, everybody. I hope this helps you out. As always, happy trading and stay green. I'll see you next time.